I'd like you to imagine for a moment that it is 100 years ago. You're coming to Columbia for the very, very first time. And you're coming in by train. You've been on the train for a while, so you're getting a little thirsty. As you pull into the Columbia station, you know exactly what you want to quench that thirst and exactly where you're going to get it, even though you've never been to Columbia before. <laughs> That's because this is the first thing you see when you pull into the Columbia Railroad Station. It's a Coca-Cola sign, you can kind of see it back there. Uh, and it also has the name of a local pharmacy, which has a soda fountain where you can buy it. There it is, up close. Signs like these were once all over America, painted on the sides of buildings. We found them uh, on, in small towns like Pottstown, PA, brightening up the street with uh, some design and information in big cities, and also along country roads. Some of these signs are long gone, and uh, thanks to Jerry, Washi at the uh, Columbia Historic Preservation Society, I know that these signs in this picture, these signs, this sign was for Columbia Telephone, and this sign over here is a metal hand painted sign that was on pickles. So they're long gone. Some of these signs are almost gone. This is in Middletown. And uh, because I've been looking at these for a long time, I know that it's a nail polish tobacco sign. And some of them are still with us, like this one, off in the corner of Hotel Columbia. These signs have interesting things to tell us about the way people lived in the past, some of the businesses that used to power a local economy, um, and sometimes the way that they lived. Uh, now we call these outdated signs ghost signs because of their faded and ghostly appearance. Um, a classic ghost sign is usually painted on a brick building like this one. Um, they're outdated because the product or the business that they're advertising either no longer exists or is no longer associated with this spot and are at least 50 years old. I said that they're faded, but not always. If they're protected for a very long time, they can look very crisp and clear. This one is inside a hotel in Billings, Montana, and it says uh, 25 cents and up lunches put up for travelers. So if you came to the hotel, you would be able to get a box of lunch for 25 cents when you went out to see the sites. There are also non-traditional ghost signs. They might be made out of tile, or neon, or painted on glass, or concrete, or metal. And they are having a moment right now. Some of you might already know this. They're very popular. There are books, and documentaries, and dedicated social media accounts, those sign apps, so you can find those signs. Community leaders love them, and so do local news editors, because they can kind of highlight local history in an interesting way. This sign, um, this is, uh, there was a building pressed up against this building. It's in Butler, PA. And when they took the building down, they found that old livery, feed, and sales stable sign. <laughs> so they repainted it, and they also painted a little mural around it to kind of tell the story about that very important business in Butler, Pennsylvania. 